you're watching TMC's San Jose 2012 Roadshow, hopefully the most important video you'll see all month. My name is Rich Tarani. On our program today, Jeff Sosa, Director of Product Management at Verident. Jeff, welcome to the show. Thank you. So this is the most important video that most people are going to see all of month. Course. So with that, yes. give us a breathtakingly amazing description of your company and what you're up to. So we're Verident Systems no, and... No pressure. No pressure, okay. <laughs> now I feel better. Um, we're Veridin Systems, and our mission is to improve application performance. And the way we do it is by providing a series of products called FlashMax Storage Class Memory. And what they are are uh, PCI Express cards with flash memory on them that allow applications to speed up, say, five times, ten times over what they could do with, say, a traditional storage device in the server. That's great. Now, uh, what about the software? Um, is there software involved as well, or is it just, just memory? Uh, yes, it, software is a very important piece of the solution. We provide a special driver that provides a, uh, a disk interface to an application. So it makes the flash memory look like it's a disk drive to an application. So the application can work just like it always did, but about 10 times faster, 5 to 10 times faster in most cases. So really, we're moving to a cloud-based world, and the reality is that companies um, have got to find cost-effective ways to speed up the application performance. There's lots of different ways of doing that. There's line optimization, but this is one really solid way to at least at the, um, at the server location is to increase the speed and the throughput of what's happening in the server to get those screens to refresh more quickly. Yeah, you got right. it. So what people are doing is they're rethinking uh, traditional architectures around how they would deploy storage in a large... Uh, environment like that where you have a big cluster of servers potentially to provide your applications, your service, whatever, uh, and they're moving the performance tier storage from network storage into the host tier now by using a product like this. And uh, it, like I said, it's, it allows customers to uh, do more with less infrastructure in most cases and really scale up their operation and provide better, higher levels of service that they couldn't imagine doing before. Are there any um, numbers that you can share with us in terms of performance increases or is it too, is it based upon the application? Um, it will vary by application but you can, you, like I said, you can generally expect a 5 to 10 uh, X performance increase. So 5 to 10 in, X is the, is yeah. the increase that Yeah, so we have like a typical uh, database, uh, clustered database might take 10 servers uh, to provide a certain level of service but maybe you can now do that with two servers. Okay. See? So that's a, that's a key uh, uh, you know, consolidation effect that you get by using these kind of products. And you didn't mention we can reduce cost in terms of uh, heat. You've got less infrastructure on your floor to do the same amount or more work. And uh, so you're, you're purchasing less, you're managing less, you're powering less, you're cooling less, all now, that. What about the competitive situation? How have you seen the landscape evolve? There are a number of companies that are looking to add um, different kinds of um, flash-based solutions to speed up uh, all sorts of applications. How do you compete mm -hmm. in, in a cr somewhat crowded market? Yeah, yeah, it seems crowded, and then when you peel back the covers a little bit and you look at what products are out there, there's some clear differentiation. So you have flash, flash media being deployed in the storage uh, tier itself in a network storage box, but you don't get the benefits there because it's on the other end of a wire where you have some latency and you lose a lot of the performance benefit. Right. Um, you can also deploy it in a host in different ways. There's a lot of vendors who just replace, say, magnetic rotating media uh, that you have in a hard drive with flash, and, but they still connect it with the same old storage protocols and all that. So you get some benefit from that as a replacement for a hard drive, but uh, your latency is going to be higher and the performance isn't going to be as good as you get with a product like ours. Storage class memory is a different category. It, plugs into a PCI Express slot, but we don't use any storage protocols. So essentially, we give you memory-like performance with storage persistence and uh, storage tip traditional storage capacities. Um, for today's products go up to 1.4 terabytes in a low-profile uh, card. So uh, what's next? Well, we're going to be uh, supporting more operating systems, uh, broadening our footprint in, in, uh, into different operating systems, and also increasing our capacity and our performance uh, in the coming quarter. So new operating systems, open source being, or uh, are you? Uh, virtualization, okay. um, uh, VMware, those types of things. So, great, yeah. thanks for being here. Thank you. Great job.